Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Cassandra. The claim I'm going to be refuting is I'm responding to same-sex marriage is harmless. My opponent's secondary claims were first, gays are actually not hurt by being allowed to marry. Secondly, that children of gay parents are no different than kids of heterosexual parents. And thirdly, that being married gives you many privileges that you don't that you don't get in a civil union or a domestic partnership. Responding to the first claim, gays are actually hurt by not being allowed to marry. There was really no evidence to back this one up other than a single mentioning of, a, of an anti-gay hate crime or protest. And she only gave one example of it. What would have been a lot more helpful would have been a lot more examples. And what really tried to happen here was trying to directly relate kind of like an X causes Y effect by saying that hate crimes against gay people first started out when they wanted to be married and hate crimes started happening for many reasons a long time ago and trying to relate the two that because gay people want to get married, now all of a sudden we have hate crimes. It's just, it's not a lot of evidence and since there's a lack of sufficient evidence trying to prove this point, she's trying to prove the entire point on just a hate crime that we get one example of, so that's kind of dismissible. Also, this isn't really related to the main claim by saying, and the main claim is same-sex marriage is harmless, by saying that gay, gays are hurt by not being allowed to marry doesn't relate to the fact that it's harmless. It's not saying that it's harmless. It doesn't really say that it's harmless. It's just, it's just kind of taking up space in the argument, not really having any weight or impact on it. The secondary claim is that children of gay parents are no different than kids of heterosexual parents. My opponent argues that gay marriage is harmless when it comes to raising children. Many of the studies will show that there really isn't much of a difference between who raises the children so long as they are loved and nurtured. My opponent did overlook one small thing, though. There is, a, there is a constant confusion of sexual orientation in households raised by gay parents, which can cause a lot of confusion in small children. As we know that small children, if you have a two-year-old, a toddler, or a cousin, they absorb anything you say. If you say a bad word, two seconds later, they're going to be repeating it. According to, your professor, according to a paper published by Professor Bradley P. Hayden, homosexuals model a, poor, model a poor view of marriage to children. They are taught by example and believe that marital relationships are transitory and most sexual in nature. Sexual relationships are the primary thing for pleasure rather than procreation. And they are taught that monogamy in a marriage is not the norm and that should be discouraged if one wants a good marital relationship. In my mind, I can't help but wonder how these gay parents sit down and tell their children, because eventually, as children, we all ask, where do babies come from? It's not a hypothetical example. It's a real example. This does happen. What are they going to say? Because it's still a fact. You know, I asked my mom when I was a small child, where did they come from? My mom said, when a man and woman love each other, you know, they get married, they have babies. What are they going to say to their kids? And how are their kids going to feel being put in that situation if the fact is they sit down and say it takes a man and a woman to make a baby? Well, if it takes a man and a woman and I have two dads, how am I here? How does this work? <laughs> there is a lot of confusion, and especially in small children, this is a huge problem. The big problem is how is this going to be viewed and processed in the eyes of a child, and the impact it can have in developing. As far as understanding marriage, not only is it just for two people to dedicate their souls and bodies and to share their lives with, a huge part of marriage is for procreation. And if we have two same-sex couples of, as of two men and two women, they obviously cannot naturally procreate. So this does cause confusion is what is the purpose of marriage? Another thing that my opponent did say if, and I'm quoting her, if a child's parents are fighting their whole lives for their rights, and, <coughs> and then they're not a full and happy whole family. If what we're saying is that because these parents are fighting all the time, they can't be happy, so they obviously take that home with them, and then the child's being dragged through this process of them fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting, that's not something that any child should be brought up with in. So it contradicts the whole point, because it's more harmful to be in the situation of the child than it is helpful. The third claim is, being married gives you many privileges that you don't get in a civil union or a domestic partnership. My opponent gave several definitions of what a domestic partnership is and what a civil union is, but none of this yet again relates back to the topic of, is this or is this not harmful? Another interesting thing that was overlooked was that she did mention her topic was Prop 8. She didn't talk about it. And let me just give you a brief on what top, Prop 8 was. Prop 8 was a piece of legislation for the people of California talking about 
whether we want to allow gay marriage in the state of California. We're a democratic country. We voted no. Obviously, on some level, the majority of all Californians, well, not all Californians, but the majority of them feel that there is something harmful about it. That's why it didn't pass. So I hope that you guys agree with me that it is harmful on some level. All right, the structure is labeled clearly on the first point. Uh, you're challenging a lack of evidence that the advocate presented, but then it sounds more like it's a critique rather than a response to the advocate's point. Well, if they had provided more evidence, this would have been more convincing. Um, I think you've got a good question here that you need to turn into a declarative, and that is that the hate crime example doesn't demonstrate the point that's being presented here, which is that there is some harm that occurs uh, that's related to not being able to marry. The connection between uh, the hate crime and the not being able to marry here is not explained. Um, so you did an okay job on that. On the second point, this is where you developed the argument the most. Uh, you've got this whole argu explanation about uh, why it matters to the families. Um, you know, there's a discussion of the of the advocate's evidence. You don't really challenge their evidence. You just kind of present a, a counter story, a different version of what is likely to happen in these circumstances. And in your hypothetical, uh, you've got a, a reasonable uh, question that comes up. It would be helpful if you had some proof that showed, for instance, when kids are uncertain about sexuality or when they are in doubt about where they came from, that there are going to be negative consequences. There was some evidence about uh, how uh, homosexual couples might uh, be bad role models because uh, the emphasis is on sexuality and promiscuity becomes uh, problematic sometimes. That's okay information that you're presenting there, but you need to make a stronger claim from it. On the next point, uh, the whole argument about fighting. I think you misunderstood the argument that the advocate was making about that. I'm not sure that it was a strong argument in either direction. Um, I do think you have a, an interesting point about there being a difference between, um, you know, the the benefits of marriage, that there's a difference between something that's harmful and something that's beneficial, but I'm not sure that you explain why that difference matters, and I'm, so as a consequence, uh, your response on that point is not uh, particularly strong. All right, thank you.